PacBio Smart Sequencing enables multiomic insights from a single smart cell. A single sequencing run can produce highly accurate genomes, 5MC methylomes, and experimentally added human 6MA epigenomes, all without the need for bisulfite treatment. Native-based modification detection is possible with smart sequencing due to the raw sequencing kinetics. Base modifications alter the pulse width and interpulse duration of incorporated bases, allowing for secondary analysis to associate kinetic signatures with the specific modifications like 5MC and 6MA. PacBio SmartLink software enables users to optionally include the raw kinetic information in the output HiFi Reads BAM file in the run design. Note that doing so increases the resulting BAM file by roughly 5x. If the summary kinetics are optionally retained, they are stored in the HiFi Reads BAM tags. Specifically, the FI and RI tags store the forward and reverse interpulse duration kinetics. The FP and RP tags store the forward and reverse pulse width kinetics, and the SA, SM, SX tags store the subreads alignment matches and mismatches, respectively. Retaining the kinetic information is not required for PacBio's on instrument 5MC and 6MA detection. Both the Revio and Vega systems on instrument algorithm automatically utilizes the summary kinetics to call 5MC and 6MA modifications with every sequencing run. The 5MC and 6MA calls are stored in the MM and ML BAM tags of your HiFi Reads BAM file. 6MA is annotated with the capital A plus A as shown in the example in the magenta and orange. And 5MC is annotated with the C plus M question mark as shown in the example in teal. It is also important to note the different encoding schemes for 6MA and 5MC. 6MA calls are encoded with the period, which means the skip bases are interpreted as zero probability, whereas the 5MC calls are encoded with a question mark, which means the skip bases are missing or have unknown modification status. Coming back to the example MM tag, we see that 6MA calls are annotated with the A plus A period, followed by the encodings for the detected bases with modifications, and the 5MC calls are annotated with the C plus M question mark, followed by the encodings for bases with modifications. The probability of the 5MC and 6MA calls being accurate is stored in the corresponding ML tag. This is scaled from the continuous probability range of 0 to 1, but remapped in full integer form of 0 to 255. For example, a 0 ML encoding means 0% probability, whereas a 255 encoding represents 100% probability. Bringing it all together, how do we read the MM encoding? Below is a scaled down example with 5MC and 6MA bases and their MM ML encodings. First, we note that 6MA is detected with the A plus A period annotation followed by two encodings telling us there are two potential 6MA bases. The first encoding of value 2 means that the first two adenosines are unmodified, and the third has a 6MA modification detected with a corresponding ML probability of 255. The next MM encoding of value 1 tells us that from the previous modified base, the next adenosine is unmodified, but the following adenosine after that has a 6MA detection with a corresponding probability of 255. Moving on, we note that 5MC is detected with the C plus M question mark annotation, followed by two encodings telling us that there are two potential 5MC bases. The first encoding of value 1 tells us that the first cytosine has unknown modification, and the second cytosine has a detected 5MC modification with a corresponding probability of 237. The next encoding of value 1 tells us that from the previous cytosine, the next cytosine has an unknown modification status, but the following cytosine after that has a 5MC detection with a corresponding probability of 253.
For downstream secondary and tertiary analysis, PacBio re recommends PBCPG tools and MethBat for 5MC analysis. These tools can be found on our GitHub page. For downstream 6MA analysis of human-treated libraries, we recommend using the third-party FiberSeq tools. And for microbial 4MC and 6MA, we recommend the microbial genome analysis workflow in SmartLink, or optionally use HiFi ASM with subsequent calling of methylation motifs.